The following podcast is non-profit and is based on the IGCSE history curriculum. Hello again. In this episode, I will be discussing Hitler's appointment as Chancellor in 1933. This episode will include the Wall Street crash and the effects of the Depression on Germany, Nazi election promises and campaign methods between 1930 and 1933, and finally, the reasons why Hindenburg appointed Hitler as Chancellor in January of 1933. The Wall Street crash took place in 1929. It is when the American stock market lost 89% of its value due to investors selling their shares after the share prices rose and businesses collapsed. As a result of this, many people were left unemployed and the US economy collapsed. The Great Depression not only affected the US, but it affected countries all over the world, especially Germany. It caused the American loans of the Dawes Plan, which were provided to Germany, to be recalled suddenly, causing the fragile German economy, which relied heavily on the loans, to collapse, meaning that Germans lost all their savings. By 1933, 40% of the working population was left unemployed, causing extremist parties to rise in popularity, as their ideas sounded ideal to helping the German economy recover. As the coalition government could not decide on how to solve the economic issues, President Hindenburg used Article 48, declaring it a time of emergency, and made new laws by himself. This made Weimar democracy look weak and ineffective. So what problems existed in the 1930s, and why did they help to increase support for the Nazis? One problem was the loss of German national pride. This is because Germans felt humiliated as they were forced to accept the Treaty of Versailles, which was very harsh. It forced Germany to accept all the blame for the war, through the war guilt cause, and to pay reparations. The Nazi election promise to solve this was to recover all of the land lost under the treaty and make Germany a great powerful empire again. Another problem was fear of communism. After communists seized power in Russia and the Spartacist uprising of 1919, the middle classes and businessmen feared that Germany would suffer the same fate. The Nazis promised to create a strong government and to protect the middle classes and businessmen from communism. Also, there was an economic crisis. After the Wall Street crash of 1929, which caused American loans to Germany to be recalled and unemployment to reach 6 million, People were attracted to the Nazi solution of creating thousands of jobs and guaranteeing good wages for workers. Finally, the government was made to look weak by the failing democracy and fighting between the Sermabteilung and communists. The Nazi proposal was to create a strong central government led by a strong leader, or Führer, Adolf Hitler, meaning it would essentially be a nationalist government. Some people who supported the Nazis included the working classes, as Nazis promised to create thousands of jobs for the unemployed workers. Young unemployed men, as Nazis created the Stamm of Tai Lung so that they would have jobs. The SA was attractive as they were able to be made to feel important by wearing their uniform, marching on the street and attacking political opponents of the Nazis. Farmers as the Nazis promised to cancel farmers' debts and persuade Germans to buy local produce. Farmers also liked traditional values, and the Nazis promised to return them. Also, teenage boys, as they were able to go hiking and camping with the Hitler Youth, where they had fun and were given free food. As This was especially beneficial and attractive, as many of them had experienced a lack of food and were homeless due to the Depression. Why did Hindenburg eventually appoint Hitler as Chancellor in 1933? Hitler demanded to be made Chancellor in July 1932, as the Nazi party was the largest political party, with 32% of the votes. Von Papen and von Schleicher were both unpopular as Chancellors, so von Papen advised President Hindenburg that he could control Hitler as Chancellor if he was Vice-Chancellor. On the 30th of January 1933, Hitler was appointed as Chancellor, with von Papen as Vice-Chancellor. Also, 
Hitler had the support of many generals, and he had taken part in the presidential election of 1932, where he won 13.4 million votes, so Hindenburg knew that the public would support him as Chancellor. I hope this episode helped you. Thank you all for listening. Next episode, I'll be looking at Hitler's consolidation of power from 1933 to 1934. If you would like to read some more revision material, you can use the link in the description of this podcast and browse my website for some notes on topics ranging from the Weimar Republic to Nazi Germany. Please also consider rating this podcast or submitting comments and suggestions in the Google form linked in the description. You could also send in a voice message, which I might play in the next coming episodes. Thank you.